What's up guys and welcome back to Undertale. Last episode, we fought Undyne. What, do you expect me to say anything else? That is literally all we did. Alright, onto the video. Uh, last episode, there was a laboratory, I'm pretty sure. Look at these guys. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. <clears throat> what is this? Ah, uh, here it... I didn't want to go in right now, what? Um... Oh, I'm being recorded. Oh, no. I guess we're going in. Oh, I can't move. What's that? Who the freak is this? Oh. Um. Hello? Oh, my God. I didn't expect to sh you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um, um, hiya, I'm Dr. Alphys, I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. That is a little bit creepy. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the hotland. I know our way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotics TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti- anti-human combat features? Oh no. Of c course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made, made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Yeah, hopefully. I can't... Hmm? Oh no. Did you hear something? Oh no. He's gonna come. Oh no. Am I going into a fight? Oh yes. Welcome, beauties. Oh. To today's quiz show. Um. Oh boy. I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone's gonna... Oh, everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Uh. Never played before. Gorgeous. No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Uh, or you die. Oh shoot. Already a fight? What? Uh, Metaton attacks. <laughs> Cry. Screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? To live? Uh, Mert. Oh. Oh, uh, Alphys is doing a thing. D. Right. Oh, I didn't even get to read it. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made out of? B. Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. What do I do? Mercy? Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneously depart- Oh, I'm not reading all of them. Alphys, how did you know that? Wonderful, I'm astounded, folks. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Uh-oh. Hey. Correct, you are so lucky today. Let's play a memory game. What monster is- That's Frogger, isn't it? Huh? Metaton? Okay. Oh. I'm so flattered you remembered. 
Uh, can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Uh, Alf, this isn't helping. Oh, the count, the time is going up. Heck yeah. Great answer. I love it. Here's a simple one. How many letters are in the name Meditor? C. But the, okay. Of course, that was easy for you. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game... Mi oh, oh, I know this one. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's a snail flavor and there's... Oh, it, you're talking too fast, I can't read it. It's actually very powerful friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Uh, I don't know. There's no timer. I don't know. I'm just going to go, I don't know. Correct. Dr. Alphys has a crush on the unknowable. You see, Alphys believes there is someone out there. Someone watching her. Someone she thinks is cute and interesting. Hello, theoretical person. Dr. Alphys likes you. Too bad you are not real. Derisive it's a live track. Hey, I've done research about this. There are alternate universes out there. S someday, maybe I could meet them. You said the exact same thing about Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Person, if you're out there, how about giving us a sign right now? That settles that, doesn't it? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Uh... Well, that was certainly something. That was certainly something. Wait, wait. Let me give you my f phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Uh... Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Oh my goodness, that was a bit awkward. Am I the only one that thinks this is kind of creepy I'm being recorded? What is this? Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Looks like Alphys's work table. Seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and is and a single clean dress. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. It's a promo poster for the Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. I think I'm done with this place. Let's get out of this place. Oh, Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Alpha. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Alpha's up the uh, For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Wait, I just remembered. Um, was it a good idea? To, is it a good idea to do this? Um, Undyne. Um, not Undyne. Papyrus said that we should meet up at Undyne's house later. Maybe he'll be there. I'll go check. Hold on, I'll fast forward it for you guys. I think Undyne's house is here. I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh no, not a freaking dummy again. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. 
She loves these. Alright. Oh. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. Don't think we've. Why don't you two come in? Oh, no. Oh, nice sword, man. Here, here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Oh, oh my god. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Oh, well, I've got the news for you, brat. You're on my battlefield now, and you aren't going to humiliate me. I'll tell you what's going to happen. We're going to hang out. We're going to have a good time. We're going to become friends. You'll become so enamored with me. You be the one feeling humiliated for your actions. Foo <laughs> It's the perfect revenge. Uh why don't you have a seat? <laughs> what? Sit down and progress? Sure. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Uh What All set, what would you like? Well, what am I up to? Oh my... Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. That scared me. I'm not even lying. What is that? Sugar goes in tea. Uh, soda, sickly yellow liquid. Uh, hot chocolate. Um, what's this? Tea box. Blatantly correct choice, I'll go with that then. T, huh? Coming right up. Uh, um. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Thank you. Here we are. You broke your table. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of a strange, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favourite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. Thanks. You know, I was pretty, I was a pretty hothead kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to, be to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard, so I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight, like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look. 
He was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him to follow, uh, teaching him to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Um, wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And he, if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Oh no. Am I cooking? Uh, that's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Foo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Afraid we're gonna be the best friends. Oh my goodness. Oh. Just grab me, but <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision fees and vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, hound them to dust with your fists. How are you found? Um. I'll go strong. You punch the vegetables at full force, you knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I can just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them into the pot. How we put them in? Careful. You place the noodles one at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Okay. Stir. I'm trying. I'm spamming it. Harder. Harder. Uh, let me do it. Oh my. You just... You, that's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let's let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let the hopes, your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold on to anything back. Hold right to up the heat. Okay. Oh no. Hotter. Hotter. Darn it. Hold on! Wait, that's too... Oh no, did we just burn down our house? Oh no. Ah, uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Uh. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. What? I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I've even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Fake attack. You pre pretend to swing un at Undyne with all your might. Uh. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid s s I can't read that. The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now, I know you just aren't happy with some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo-hoo-hoo. Oh, 
and if you don't and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Foo hoo. Now let's get out of this hell now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But uh somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to... Well, see you later, punk. Wow. That was really strange. We burnt down her house. Sounds like only the fire lives here now. What? 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 No. Okay. It's a living. That scared me for a second. I thought another dummy was about to come out. Alright, we are back at this star thing. Oh, like save point thing. Seeing such a strange word. You're filled with determined. Yep. Alright. I think I might end it here. I uh, hope you'll really enjoy this episode. <laughs> we burnt down Undyne's house. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know if she... Nah, I think... Yeah, it was just a weird episode, man. Not weird, but you know what I mean. But anyway, hope you all really enjoyed. And I guess I'll just see you in the next one. See ya.